everyone. Today I would like to talk about the book Getting Near to Baby by Audrey Columbus. This book actually is a winner of the Newbery Honor Award, which is an award for outstanding children's literature. So Getting Near to Baby, I just have to say this is such a delightful book. This is such a nice book. It's not even very long. It's only, it's like less than 300 pages, like barely 200 pages. And in this book, we are learning about these two, mainly, these two girls here. Um, and this one is Willa Jo, this one is Little Sister. Now, Little Sister actually does have a name, but I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to read the book to know what her actual name is. So, um, since it's only like barely 200 pages, it is a book that you could get through really quickly. Now, it took me a long time just because in um, the middle of reading this, I actually, we actually got a new puppy um, named Ponyo. So now we have Ocean and Ponyo, and um, she is roaming around right now. So if you hear random noises, it's from her. And she's also the reason that I had to take all my extra time instead of reading this book to focus on her because we're still in the process of potty training her and just watching her and making sure that she doesn't do any funny business so I haven't had super like a lot of time to read so eventually I had some time where I was able to finish it and so really honestly you could get through this book really quickly if you wanted to read it um, and it's very easy to get through each chapter it's like the flow is really just like a really good flow um, chapter to chapter. The chapters, a lot of them are fairly short. So it's just overall, I really enjoyed reading this book. So a little bit more about what it's actually about. So um, Willa Jo, uh, she's about 13 and little sister is eight and they're out on the roof. Hence this picture, they're out on the roof. They're technically out on the roof for the entire book, but it goes back in time to have them like just so you can know what was going on in like the last two weeks that kind of helps you know why they're on the roof in the first place but then it gets back to them being on the roof at the end and and you get to finally learn why they're really up there um so first things first the first chapter she goes out there and then she says it's because she wants to watch the sunrise but then little sister follows her out and they're just they just kind of stay there and then their aunt Patty, who they're staying with, is like, get down right now, like freaking out. And she's like, oh my gosh, you guys are going to embarrass me. The whole town is it's going to be an embarrassment that I can't take care of these kids that they're up on this roof. And like, she's like freaking out and she's worried about her image and what her neighbors are going to think and like how dangerous it is to be up there. So she really wants them to get down, but they're not moving. So um then after that we kind of start going back in time and we start learning some more things so essentially the reason that they are at their aunt patty's house is because something happened to their younger the, the youngest sister who is um baby so um baby also has a name that you'll have to read to find out but um something happens to baby and it really causes their mom to just be in like not doing the best um, of not being the best mother at that she could be, um, and of course the kids don't think this, but, um, her sister, Patty, comes in and says, hey, you know what, let me take the kids until you can be back on your feet and feel better and be able to be there for them in the way they need, and so that is why they are staying at Aunt Patty's, nothing, nothing happens to the mom or anything, she's, because at first I was thinking maybe she died and that's why they're staying with it. But no, she's she's still alive and everything. So everything's fine with her. So that's why they are there. Willa Jo does not like it being there. She just, she misses the way things were with her mom. Um, which is natural, which is normal. Um, anyways, so we continue to learn more about how it is and what it's like to live with their Aunt Patty. And then we start getting more information about baby and about mom. And... Um, also something that's really interesting about little sister is she doesn't speak. She does speak, but she chooses not to. Ever since something, that, the thing that happened to baby happened, she hasn't spoken a word. They all thought that she would snap out of it, but it's still going. She still hasn't spoken a word and it's been really, a really long time. So, um, Willa Jo's not really worried about it. Um, but the adults are kind of like, oh, well she'll, she'll get over it eventually. <laughs> like hopefully, 
Um, so in we still get to learn quite a lot about Little Sister and how her um, personality is, even without her saying a word. So it's pretty cool the way it's written. Um, it's in the perspective of Willa Jo. So we learn about how she reacts with the neighbors, how she reacts with Aunt Patty. Um, and since she's like barely a teenager, she is, you know, she has that attitude sometimes too. Um, even though they're taught to be respectful to your elders and to be nice and all that. And she tries really hard, but sometimes she, that attitude comes out of her. Um, but overall, I love these two characters, how they are in the book. I love the uh, the friend that she meets that lives kind of like across the way that Aunt Patty's like, don't be friends with them. They're dirty. They're dirty kids. And it's like, what? And so uh, they become friends anyway. And so I like that part of it. Um, and then at the end, we find out exactly what happened to Baby, exactly why they have to stay with Aunt Patty's, uh, at Aunt Patty's, and then um, just the way that it wraps back up to why they're on the roof and everything, it, it just wraps up so nicely. This book, it's really good. It's a really good book. So I highly recommend you read this book here, Getting Near to Baby. Um, it, I mean, it got an award, so it, clearly it's got to be good, right? I think so. So, anyways, that's my short little discussion about this book because it's so short, I don't want to say more or I'm just going to give away everything else. So, um, totally read it if you have some time to spare and you're looking for something that's simple to read. It's not, ch like, child... The way it's written isn't like it's for a child. It is, like, it's simply written, but it's still where, if an adult read it, like me, that you would still enjoy it. It's not written in a way where you're like, oh, this is just for kids. Like, it's not just for kids, for sure. So anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Um, if you want to see more of what AJ's reading um, or what I'm reading, um, then you can look at our Goodreads. I'll put the link down below. It um, AJ's been reading a lot on the Kindle lately, and um, so he's been pretty active on Goodreads, um, and he'll probably be doing some reviews soon too. Um, but until then, you can check out his Goodreads to kind of see. He also does some reviews on there too um, when he can't get in front of the camera. Um, so anyways, again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. We appreciate you. Um, and I'll see you next time.